Hello, I'm Gwen Edwards and welcome to another edition of Our Lives. Well, think about this. What is more important, winning arguments or sharing information? My first guess is all about effective communications. Why? Because you may not be as capable of getting the information across as you think. Alfonso McGriff III of Hartford is a motivational speaker who runs workshops on effective communications. Welcome, Alfonso. Hi. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, some common sense problems that you see when it comes to being effective while communicating. Some of the, the challenges, or one of the biggest common sense things um, that I think about is the idea of winning, winning. We want to win as opposed to understand. And I think that um, if we move into the realm of understanding, we can be a lot more productive and we give each other a chance to understand one another. So let's start off on a, a neutral plane is what you're saying. Right. All right, and, and you have tips on improving uh, the way we interact with one another. One of the things that I like to say is that if we want to have a conscious conversation, we want to understand the person. One of the first things we think about is agreement and disagreement are not relevant because the goal is not about trying to agree or disagree or even convert a person. The goal is understanding. Now, in the environment of debating and in, 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 in different types of environments, those require different things. But when we have a desire to truly effectively communicate with a person and understand them, agreement and disagreement are not relevant. So the goal is to understand. And then you say uh, no personal attacks. Well, one of the things that always happens a lot of times when people are communicating with one another, we have a subject matter on the table, and then it seems like when one appears to be getting the upper hand in information, then the other begins to get involved in personal attacks. So we say no personal attacks. We can challenge the idea, the concept, the, the theory. We can challenge it vigorously, but we never get involved in attacking a person. And then one person speaking at a time. Right. We say, if there's more than one person speaking, we identify that as a fight. And since we don't like fights, what we like is to allow a person to speak and complete their thought. And then do not accuse anyone of being wrong. Right. One of the biggest challenges that I've observed when people are communicating is that we are quick to announce to someone else, you are wrong. And as soon as you tell someone they're wrong, they immediately get on the defensive and then the opportunity for understanding is lost. So when we're involved in a conscious conversation and we have a desire to understand, we do not announce that someone is wrong. Now you run workshops, mm -hmm. and the workshops are intended to help us become better listeners as well as communicators. Better listeners, better communicators, and better sharers. When I say sharers, I mean sharers of time. Sometimes people speak and monopolize the time, which makes others impatient because they have a thought and they're afraid they're going to lose it. So we like for people to think about sharing time. And we also encourage people to bring a pencil and paper. So even if someone is sharing, you have a thought, you don't lose it, you write it down, and then you still have it. And then finally, uh, we want to talk about the fact that you are an inventor, uh, the inventor of the first thermal groomer specifically for dreadlocks. And right. we have a little video that we're going to show. Explain the instrument. Well, it's called McGriff's Original Lock Groomer. and. What it does is it uses heat and some products to help people who like neat locks or tresses or dreadlocks. They like their locks to look nice and, nice and smooth and neat. What it does is it grooms those locks and makes them look nice and neat for people who prefer that look. It's not for everybody, but it, um, it's just another approach to making locks look neat. How to contact you if someone is interested in one of your workshops? How do we contact you? Um, 
I can be reached at 860-478-7880. That is the number to reach me at for um, getting more information about the Effective Communication Workshop. And your web? Uh, the website is www.lockgroomer.com. Lockgroomer.com. Well, Alfonso, we thank you so much for coming. Uh, after what we all witnessed in Washington, mm -hmm. I can't think of a better topic for us to <laughs> consider right. effective communications. Thank you very much for having me. All right, thank you. And straight ahead on our lives, a gospel singer from Stanford who just released her first CD. You stay with us. And welcome back. My next guest has one of the most beautiful contralto voices that I've ever heard. And contralto is the lowest female voice part between soprano and tenor. It's a pleasure to introduce you to her. Here is Mildred Hudson of Stanford singing, I Am Redeemed. You can 
tell them everyone you meet you can tell them all in the streets you can tell them my whole life is changed I'm no longer the same tell them tell them I am redeemed it is a pleasure to be with you for this edition of our lives I'm Gwen Edwards an exciting evening of Fashion and design work is coming up November 6th, and here is the best part. The upcoming show will feature lots of local up-and-coming designers and fashionistas. The show will take place at the B&W Showroom in Darien. It's off of I-95 on Wednesday, November the 6th. It's being hosted by the New England Fashion and Design Association. Irina Sevanovich is with the New England Fashion and Design Association, and we welcome you back. Oh, I'm very glad to be back. What an exciting opportunity for so many young people. Well, this is the crown of all of our efforts for the year. So we put this show to feature our young designers there. And they will be showing their clothes. We have young children who are also going to model their designs. We have uh, Suzuki Musical School will be the background sound of the event. So it's all about young talents, the upcoming new generation. Now, tell us uh, what the event is called. The event is called Bau Bauhaus Mother, which is uh, coming from uh, um, the German school of design in the beginning of uh, 20th century, which actually gave birth to the life and contemporary design we are going through right now and we are living through. Our idea is that we actually teach the next generation and we are actually do building the future of design and we are training them to discover the new styles and new designs coming up. And how did the collaboration come about between the Fashion and Design Association and BMW? The Greater Cham Chamber of Commerce of Norwalk, of course, the best place to network and meet people. We met, we loved each other, we liked what we do, and now we are putting things together, and they were very great, wonderful, to support the event and give us the space and to help us to feature our designs. And, and what can we expect that evening? Well, we have uh, one of uh, celebrity coming. Uh, one of my students uh, actually was... Uh, uh, part of Project Runway, the famous competition on TV, and uh, she's going to present her collection, Liana Aguilar. It's going to be showing her designs, uh, and then the kids will be featuring their own collections, their mini collections, in which they worked on for the last two years. And what ages are we talking about with the students? The ages are from 9 to 16 and up. And we have some adults also who are going to participate because we teach also adults, so they will be part of our event too. And I think I heard you said earlier that this is what they made that they will be showcasing? Everybody is presenting everything what they made with their own hands. They start from scratch, they design, they create their patterns, they sew it. We, I brought even a girl that is already taking classes with us two years, and you will see her in a moment that she's wearing her own outfit and she made everything herself. Now that is really an amazing accomplishment at the age of nine and, and older, being able to make your own clothes. Yeah, actually I think there is something with the new generation that it's very um, advanced in comparison with what, when we were growing up. They have much more information and the talents are amazing, amazing. And, and what are you seeing from the young designers? I'm not quite sure the designs are, are quite interesting. I see that they are free to design anything. I see them that they are just using their imagination and it's so wonderful to watch them. Um, there are times that when I look at their little hands making something amazingly perfect, you just, it brings you to tears from um, appreciation of this 
super young life being capable of doing such a perfection. And, and they design. don't seem to have any inhibitions. Everything no. is a possibility <laughs> with them. You know. Which is beautiful. This is, I think that I'll never get old until I do this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're wonderful people, all of us. We have like a very, very nice environment there. It's really beautiful. And, and tell us where you're located for those who do not know. <laughs> We're located in, uh, inside of South Norwalk train station. We are on the second floor. Uh, we are on the New Haven site. And we are there for the last seven years. So it's, uh, when we're growing and growing and it's getting better and better. It's just beautiful. And I'm quite sure you're attracting students from all over the, the region. We have students coming from Hartford. We have students coming from Old Saybrook. Uh, we have students coming from New York. So we, we get quite a lot of traffic. And we want to know how to get tickets to the event on November 6th? Well, we don't call them tickets. We actually call them donations. We are trying to raise funds for uh, kids who cannot afford to be with us. So we are trying to build up a scholarship uh, fund for uh, young people who cannot afford being in, uh, in the classes. And the donation is, uh, it's a, there is a donation on the website that, you know, you can just purchase. And your give us your website. Stick. And the website is sonofashiondesign.com um, and you will see it at the front page. Alrighty, well, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere <laughs> and don't you go anywhere because when our lives continues, we will have a little sneak peek of the November 6th event. You'll see it only here on our lives. So you stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. Fine fashion and fast cars. That combination will be part of an upcoming fashion and design show. The fashion show will be hosted by the New England Fashion and Design Association. The show will take place at the B&W Showroom in Darien, which is right off of I-95, and that's on Wednesday, November the 6th. Now, right now, we are going to talk to one of the young fashionistas who will be showing her design works at the show, as well as Irina Simonovich, who's here because she is with the New England Fashion and Design Association. Welcome to you both. Oh, we are glad that you have us. Here. And we have <laughs> here with us Ali Colon. Yes. Ali, why did you decide to go to the New England Fashion and Design Association? Because um, I really like fashion obviously, and I thought that it'd be a very creative opportunity. And how long have you been going to the, the association's classes? Um, every summer for two years. Every summer for two years. And what have you learned? I have learned how to sew a lot better than I do. And I have learned to well, I guess that's pretty much what I've learned. So you design what you have on today, is that correct? Yes. I and we're going to have you shorts. stand up and show it to us. So why don't you stand up and model it for us. Now explain what this is. Um, these are high-waisted shorts. And the button design, your idea? No. I guess I can call them Taylor Swift pants. Oh, okay. So she, she was sort of the inspiration for this. Yes. Okay. And uh, explain to us uh, how long it took you to design and make this particular outfit. It took me, I guess, four to five days. Really? That's amazing. That's, that is great. And a lot of help, I'm, I'm quite sure, from the instructors at the uh, association. So Ali came, uh, Ali came uh, with a little preparation on her own before. Mm. Yeah. She started sewing when she was seven years old and she came more for direction. So she's now actually building a little portfolio and she started drawing now. She's developing her skills. That's fantastic. And Ali, you may sit back down. Uh, tell us what you hope to do with all the skills that you're learning at the association? Um, you can tell that you won a competition. Oh yeah, uh, there was this boy in our class and 
We, we had the we had the competition for the summer camp. Yeah, and it was a drawing competition, and the winner won a sewing machine. It turns out the two of us won because Irina liked how we were drawing so much. They couldn't stop drawing. They <laughs> drew for like three days nonstop. I couldn't stop them oh. to draw, and I I didn't feel like there was a winner. It was just like two amazing people who are just designing. And do you want to, Ali, go into the world of fashion and design as a career? I guess I'm not very sure because I'm only 13, <laughs> but I guess it's one of my choices. You know, it's just great to explore. It's, yeah. it's great to explore and get to know what it takes to uh, be able to be a part of this uh, industry. And of course, you don't have to make up your mind now. You're only 13. and of course, uh, you have plenty of time to make a decision like that. Well, once again, we just want to say the fashion show is on November the 6th. It's going to be at the BMW and Darien. And we thank you so much for coming, and we're looking forward to a great evening that night. Thank you. All right. And we want to thank you for watching, and make sure that you like me on Facebook, and that you follow me on Twitter for updates on the Our Live show. Thanks for making our lives a part of your life. We will see you next time.